Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Randy Brown versus Muslim Salikov. This was a fight that was supposed to happen a little while ago. It's now happening, obviously, now. Uh, Randy Brown, 17-5, and 4-1 in, in his last five fights. Lost to Jack Delamandalana, where he was doing some decent things until Jack opened up and said, I'm done waiting. Uh, he's a minus 235 favorite, 33 years old, 6'3 with a 78-inch reach. Fighting Muslim Salikov, who's 19 and 4, 2 or 3 and 2 in his last five fights, but he's 1 and 2 in his last three. Plus 195 underdog is coming off of a loss. 39 years old. 5'11 with a 70 inch reach. Much smaller, shorter, and an 8 inch reach advantage for Randy Brown. Off off uh, glance first glance and just talking about it real quick before we take a deep dive in uh, their careers right now. Salikov, obviously a lot older, six years older, crazy re uh, reach disadvantage. The one thing that makes up for that a lot is his kicks, and he's really good with his kicks. The one thing I don't trust with Brown is his chin. He's been chinned a couple of times by, like, Nico Price, by Vicente Luque. Um, uh, Jack Della Mandalena face-planted him and then submitted him. I don't see Muslim Salikov submitting him. I think that'd be kind of crazy. But, again, you look at their stats overall. Um Let's go here. Da, 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 da. Man, look at the matchup. Strikes landed per minute at 4.38 to 3.37. Striking accuracy is 47 to 51% from Muslim Salikov. Strikes absorbed per minute 3.33 to 2.91. Defense is 54 to 62. Take down the average every for, for a fight. Uh, about one to one and a half for Muslim Salikov. Takedown defense is 74 to 73, but Muslim Salikov is going to either have to close that distance or use his hands to set up his, his uh, spinning attacks. Submission attempts about a half a fight for Randy Brown. Now, Randy Brown definitely has fought the better competition, I would say. Um, bup, 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 bup. Let's see. Matchup. Let's do Muslim Salikov. You know, so he's he lost to Alexa uh, Alex Garcia, be Ricky Haney, N uh, Nordin Talib, Taleb, Starla Poli, uh, Ezek, uh, El Jesus, what is that? El uh, Zaleski Dos Santos, Elizu Zaleski Dos Santos, whatever that is. Fran Francisco Trinaldo. The leech was the first person to finish him, and Dolby was able to beat him. I, I would believe that fight was a lot of, he beat him at distance. Um, Dolby, 43 of 91, 47 of 78, so no. So he beat him in close. So laid him uh, by position, 50% at distance, 41 in the clinch. So yeah, a lot of it was at, uh, at clinch, at uh, close. Round one was 27 at distance to 45, 17 of 40. And then, yeah, this one, 2 of 5, 2 of 2 from Saikov for takedowns. Dalby was very accurate with 104 to 158 total strikes. So a lot of output, uh, 47 to 60, 62 to 71, 69 to 68. A split decision that looks on paper like a really, really close fight. I would have assumed that... Um, Nicholas Dalby beat him using that karate stance, using that karate range, keeping him, you know, away. Um, doesn't necessarily seem like that. Um, again, does have some finishing ability with his kicks. Um, Rainey Brown, I would suspect, would win this fight. Again, he's fought the better competition fighting. Man, he's been fighting on UFC roster since 2016. Beating uh, Matt Dwyer, losing to Michael Graves, but beating uh, Eric Mantano. Uh, Tano, Bilal Muhammad, he lost to Mickey Gully Fato, Price, Barbarina, Alves, Vicente Luque, Alex Oliveira, Jared Gooden, Chaos Williams, Trinaldo, Jack Della, and then most recently beat Wellington Terman in a kind of disputed decision, kind of. But like the Jack Della, he got caught, got finished. Vicente Luque got finished. Nico Price finished. Bilal Muhammad just stuck to him like glue, so okay, sure. And then uh, Michael Graves was able to submit him. So besides the one decision loss to Vicent or for, to uh, Bilal, everyone's finished him. I have a hard time thinking he's going to be finished by Muslim Salikov. I definitely could see it with his kicks and because he's powerful, but I think that distance is going to be a real issue for Muslim Salikov. He's going to have to use a lot of movement. He's going to have to use his pressure. He's going to have to cut off that octagon. Um, uh, 
get him close to the uh, cage. I like Randy Brown to win this one because he's so much longer, and I think he uses that uh, well at times. I'm a little worried about his chin, but I like Randy Brown. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking, and as always, peace.